Hi there, it's Scott and Roshi from the Complete Dancer Project and today we're just going to talk you through one of my favourite exercises. So any of my clients or former patients are going to groan when they hear me talking about this because this is a really tough but effective exercise. This hits lots of muscle groups at the same time, it works on your awareness of important body parts um, and your proprioception and balance. So Scott here is going to be my um, willing guinea pig. So you get four small little items, we have paper clips here but anything that size will do. And I'm going to place them around him. I suppose around 30 centimetres, maybe a little bit more from where we're standing. So what Scott is going to do, he's going to stand on one leg, he's going to bend down and pick up um, each of these things one at a time, he's not going to drop the other leg. So, a couple of provisors, so as he goes, he needs to go as slowly as he possibly can, and he needs to come up just as slowly. This is because when we're strengthening a muscle, it's important that you strengthen it as it gets shorter, but also as it gets longer. So that helps us prevent injury. Down for the next one. A couple of things to avoid. So we don't want our hip dropping. So this muscle at the side of our hip is one of the most underactivated in Irish dancers, um, but a really important one to help us lift effectively and prevent carriage problems. We want to make sure that we do it initially in our footwear, in good footwear. Off you go, keep going. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, you can use your other hand for that if you want. I'm not going to do so we're going to work on balance. So anybody who's coming back from an ankle injury will find this particularly useful. And then the challenging one, going to the back, and I've actually put it really far away from Scott. So as you can see, this is going to work on a whole heap of muscle groups. So it's going to work on your quads, it's going to work on your glutes, your hip abductors, all really key muscle groups, even your calves and your hamstrings. So then you're going to do that, and then you're going to repeat on your other leg. Preferably, you're going to do it maybe two to three times a day max on each leg. Do it as slowly as you can and in order to progress it then you can add some weight so put on a backpack or you can do it on a wobble board if you really want to challenge that ankle proprioception and balance. Um, initially do it in good footwear so that your foot is supported well and you can progress then on to doing it in bare feet and manage that ankle um, motion and that foot motion. So a great exercise, give it a go and see how you get up. Enjoy.